August 23rd, 2021 was my first day as a computer science major at Georgia Tech and I was ready to start my journey to becoming the greatest programmer of all time. I already did know how to code though, so let's do a quick summary of what I'd already learned. Okay, so I wrote my first line of code in third grade in C sharp and I didn't really touch code again until eighth grade or the end of eighth grade when I started to learn Python and R to become a data science expert or machine learning expert. I don't know, insert whatever buzzwords you want. I was on that hype train. I continued to code in Python and I picked up Django, HTML, and CSS so that I could build web apps. I participated in my first hackathon and learned a little bit more about programming and that was a really cool experience. And I also learned Java through a Udemy course and picked up the basics of that. I started Usico, the United States of America Computing Olympiad at the end of ninth grade and I quickly learned that Python wasn't the best language for competitive programming. So I picked up the very, very basics of C++ and started to spam algorithms in the hopes of putting something on my college app. I also sometime learned Dart and Flutter to build mobile apps and picked up the basics of JavaScript from some random in place on the internet. Later in high school, I also did some real machine learning and deep learning stuff with PyTorch, and that brings us to college. In my first semester, I only took one CS class, CS 1331, which is an intro to object-oriented programming with Java. It's exactly what it sounds like, pretty straightforward. You learn Java, you learn object-oriented programming, not very interesting. I was also applying to a bunch of internships during my first semester. Even though I didn't really have any work experience or any side projects I was proud of, I knew I wanted to get an internship, so I was just spamming application after application after application. Eventually, I realized I needed to pick up some actual experience Experience, so I knew what I was talking about in interviews. So I decided to sign up to as many hackathons as I could, go to them and build some side projects. The first hackathon I attended was Hack MIT in 2021 September and I attended this one solo. I built an app that turns YouTube videos into flashcards to study using React.js and some large language model APIs. I quickly followed this up with a NASA Space Apps hackathon with some of my friends where you built a landslide modeling simulation. And then there was a hackathon held at my school that I signed up for and went to for a little while, but I was sick for most of that weekend. I've been shooting off internship application after internship application and I got an interview at Google. I was really excited, but then I failed and you can hear more about that in this video. Then I went to my school's career fair and I actually landed an interview with a local company and this one I did pass. I was very excited, but I turned them down because I wanted to work remotely and this would be in the city of Atlanta and I didn't want to do that. I regretted this decision for a while because I wasn't getting any more interviews, but then I managed to land a interview from Red Hat, pass that interview, and then I secured the internship at Red Hat and I couldn't have been happier. After a great winter break where I didn't really do any coding, I entered my second semester of computer science. I was taking three CS classes, data structures and algorithms, discrete math, and computer organization and programming. Data structures and algorithms honestly wasn't too bad at all. We were covering the basic data structures like hash maps, linked lists, sets, etc., etc., and also some of the basic algorithms. Unfortunately, after a few horrible mistakes, I ended up with a B in the class. Discrete maths is one of those classes that everybody loves to complain about and get really, really mad about, and for good reason. Conceptually, it was a pretty difficult class, or at least it wasn't easy, but it was a very, very educational one. I learned a lot about formal logic and proofs, and I think that just made my level of thinking a lot better, and I somehow managed to get an A in the class. Computer organization and programming was meant to teach kids how computers work from the very basics from the ground up. So we started with circuits and logic gates, went to assembly and then C, and I also learned a ton in this class, but it was also kind of hard, and I managed to eke out an A in this as well. I also took a CS special topics class in the computation foundations of machine learning and I was really glad I did so because it focused on the statistics and math behind a lot of these machine learning models and even though a lot of it went over my head I'm really glad I took it because I have a much better understanding of machine learning now. during this semester I also worked on becoming a better software engineer so I picked up the go programming language and continued to work on react HTML JavaScript and CSS I also kept writing Python as my tribute to the software engineering gods and I grinded a ton of leap code as a good software engineering monkey should I was feeling kind of good by the end of the semester because I'd built out some side projects I was proud of and I was feeling pretty good about leak code and all that nonsense. You know what I'm saying. May 2022 is when I started my first internship and it ended in August of 2022. I walked in thinking I was going to build the world's next biggest software and I ended up writing Python code to help everybody else on my team write code a ton faster. But it was still in a very, very educational experience. And I'm really glad I did it. I learned a lot about how to actually write code with other people, best practices, all of that, and just how to write good code in general. So shout out to everyone everybody that worked at Red Hat. I mean, they took me from writing spaghetti code all by myself to actually writing kind of decent code with a group of very talented developers. June of 2022 is when I started applying for summer 2023 internships and I churned out application after application after 
your application. I failed a few interviews and then I actually managed to get a few interviews, passed those, and then got a few offers also in August of 2022. To show my gratitude to the gods, I prayed at the altar of Leap Code for 10 minutes every single day. Back on campus for my third semester, I started prepping for my rigorous course load. I was taking two CS classes, software design and computing ethics. Software design was all about different design principles and software like solid and whatnot. And we also had to build an Android app as part of a group project for the course. We built a really, really bad app, but we somehow managed to get an A in the class. Computing ethics was all about teaching CS majors how to be good people, but maybe they should have taught CS students how to take showers first. I spent a lot of time this semester doing random side projects and learning random things about code. I picked up Rust, kind of, sort of learned Rust. I'm still not very confident in it, which brings us to this semester where I'm continuing my grind to become an absolute chad of a program. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Anyways, YouTube is telling you to go watch this video, so you should do that. The recommender algorithms are great. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.